So today I'm working on some of the reassembly of the front of the truck. And this includes the core support, which is just sitting on the frame right now. And you'll see the new bushings here, which was part of the kit uh, that I installed underneath the four corners of the cab in a previous video. And the paint on the frame, this is just two coats. I put actually two fairly generous coats on um, in a previous video. And I've let this cure for a few days and um, I'm getting a little impatient to keep moving forward. So it got two coats and I'm actually satisfied with that. So um, I'm gonna move forward with some of the reassembly. So I've got the core support, like I mentioned, and I'm gonna reinstall the radiator, AC condenser, radiator shroud, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the battery trays in yet, um, but I can also put the uh, fender skirts in here and then just get some of my wiring uh, reorganized since I've got everything just kind of pulled back uh, out of the way for painting. Here you can see I installed the new power steering line. And there it is going into the steering gear. This was a Gates brand. It actually fit quite well, just like OEM. And the only issue I had with it, as you can see up here, the 3 8 return hose is just a little short. It won't go into the pump reservoir. So I just need to get about another, uh, a longer hose, maybe four inches longer. Uh, but that was the only issue I had. Otherwise there's a good shot of the fittings going into the steering gear. Looks a lot different than it did when I removed the old crusty original lines. Okay, this is why you go slow and take your time. Um, I did forget to put the main wiring harness here uh, just underneath the brackets on the AC condenser and then those little clips go into the core support. So I just had to take uh, those bolts back out and reroute that. But that's why you go slow and during the reassembly process I've got a lot of photos uh, on my phone and I just study uh, and reference those photos before I start to reassemble. That way you don't get you know 10 steps down the road and find out that you missed something and then have to step back uh, nine or 10 steps. So I've got the, the wiring harness now installed below the core support and then I'm going to drop the radiator in and I've already got the, uh, the radiator shroud in place. Okay, now I've got the radiator and the radiator shroud all installed and tightened down. I've got the hood latch installed. It's loose because it needs adjustment. I just put a little piece of wood here to keep the radiator uh, core support upright uh, so that it doesn't lean into the motor. Um, the wiring harness is up here and secured in the core support. And now I'm ready to start putting in my uh, fender inner fender skirts and kind of organizing some of the components here. So I did myself a favor, got a bunch of new hardware. These are fender bolts and uh, U-nuts and it makes things a lot easier when going back together um, rather than using the old rusty stuff uh, and of course some of the hardware was just not usable in its condition. All right, just one more view here before I quit for the night. Uh, the core support is installed. Uh, I've got the skirt on the passenger side here installed. Uh, I put the hardware in, I just didn't tighten it down because uh, I might take it out still if I need to uh, get some more room to put my downpipe in, but I've got one of the battery trays installed here as well. So um, just getting familiar with how these things are going back together, um, referencing some photos that I took before I did the disassembly. So everything looks like it's going back together just fine. And uh, next step is I'm gonna start working on some sheet metal, getting that prepped and painted here in the very near future.